Jerry Pop, the highest pop selling record of his time. He was poised to transcend generations, but was forced to stay in only one. What happened to this fallen star? I and Boleyn have the answer next on Entertainment Fallen Stars. Highland Heights, Ohio. Such a small common town, but little did it know it would birth such a star. I met with his mom to talk about the star's childhood. We always knew he would be a star, but we didn't know how soon it would end. He would always perform for us, but he was awful. So we didn't want him to look like an idiot. We got him lessons. But he got good. Oh yeah, he got really good. You know how much money that kid was making for us? I mean, his college fund. You know, people insist it's your control over his money that destroyed him. No, that's all lies. I guess what I'm trying to say is, he's been out of the spotlight for 10 years. Do you have anything to say to him? Well, actually... What is this? Some kind of intervention? What happened to you? After my addiction, I fell off. Who's Thick Lou? We met with one of his old tour mates, Thick Lou, to figure out where things really fell off. It was great when we started off. Did you know we had a punk band? Let me tell you something. Jerry Pop isn't his real name. It's Jerry Punk. He was born for that music. Anyways, he changed his style and then... A few months later, he changed his name to Pop. So where the heck does that leave me? Nobody thinks of Thick Lou anymore. Where's my documentary? My new album is coming out. I'm in love with the shape of Lou. I do experimental music now. I got a little more on my neck. I got a few more cards on my deck. I am thick. I am thick. Here we go. Piano solo. This didn't really get us anywhere at all, so we went back to Jerry's house. I got cocky. I got arrogant. I even started to use this stupid fake British accent. Hey, can I get your autograph real quick? Ah, uh, hey, come uh, on, man, big fan. I'm um, Guten Tag, no autograph for Guten Tag. Yeah. That wasn't even British. That was an awful German accent. No. It was British. Come to think of it, I don't think I've ever met a British person before. All right, you ready? Roll music. My addiction stopped me from caring about my music and my job. I didn't want to sing anymore, so I started lip syncing. Cut, 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 cut! What are you, trying to ruin my record label here? On my second album, I started lip syncing the lip syncing track. Seems like you've had quite the wild ride. Your last public incident got you into some trouble. What happened at the pizza parlor? Nothing. I had a spotlight for a little while, needed some cash, got a job at a pizza parlor, had a little skirmish, it's nothing. Little did we know, it was more than just nothing. Name and occupation? I don't know what this has to do with anything. It's for our own sake. You start blurring my face, right? Of course. Dan Robbins, contractor. What happened that night? So I was, uh on a date uh, with my wife. There was no one in the footage. Oh, saw that. Is that Jerry Pop? I gotta ask, your fall from grace? Most stars do fall into illegal activities or drugs. Um, if I may, what is this addiction you keep bringing up? Fidget spinning. I'm sorry? Fidget spinning.
I only love my job when I'm on vacation. This has been a royal waste of time. This is Anne Boleyn with Entertainment of Fallen Stars signing off. Does this too?